Good evening, I'm Shukh Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Order 34 of 2019, separating the Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Cardiac Center and the Bahrain Oncology Center from the Bahrain Defense Force. The order stipulates that the two centers will be subject to the same laws and regulations governing the work of public health institutions. It also stipulates that a board of trustees for the Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Cardiac Center and the Bahrain Oncology Center shall be formed as per a royal decree. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 35 of 2019 and organizing the relations between the BDF, the Supreme Council for Health and the Health Insurance Fund. The Royal Order stipulates that all government-funded health institutions and centers subject to the health insurance law promulgated by Law 24 of 2018 shall provide health services for the BDF affiliates and their families at the expenses of the state, as will be regulated by a resolution to be issued by the SCH. It also stipulates that the affiliates of the Ministry of Interior, the National Guard and the National Security Agency, as well as civilians from the citizens and residents, shall receive health services at BDF's hospitals, Military Hospital and the King Hamad University Hospital, in accordance with the resolution to be issued by the BDF's High Medical Committee, in co coordination with the SCH, the Health Insurance Fund and the insurance companies concerned shall pay the costs of the treatment as stipulated in the Health Insurance Law, promulgated by Law 24 of 2018. The Prime Minister, the BDF Commander-in-Chief and Ministers, each in their capacity, shall implement the two Royal Orders 34-35 of 2019, which take effect on January 1, 2020 and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Order 36 of 2019, appointing the members of the Council of Commissioners at the National Institution for Human Rights. According to the Royal Order, Dr. Fawziya Saeed Al Saleh, Khalid Abdul Aziz Al Shaar, Dr. Malala Jafar Al Hamadi, and Ammar Ahmed Al Bannai were appointed as members until the end of the term of the current Council of Commissioners. The Royal Order shall take immediate effect and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at the General Command Headquarters of Bahrain Defense Force today His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior officials. He reviewed local affairs aimed at bringing about some more growth and was briefed on the economic development statistics in the kingdom which reached over 2.7% in the first quarter of 2019. His Majesty the King praised the positive results, stressing the need to continue exerting efforts to upgrade government services and maintain the Kingdom's comprehensive development march for the best interests of the nation and its citizens. He also thanked the Bahraini ambassador to Iraq, Saleh Al Malki, for his efforts to promote relations between the two brotherly countries in all fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit to BDF General Command Headquarters where he was welcomed by the Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Minister of Defense Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi and senior official, officials. His Majesty was accompanied during the visit by Royal Guard Commander His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King reviewed the latest regional developments and the general stance expressing appreciation for the dedication, courage and determination showed by the BDF personnel in assuming their national duties. He also commended the advanced level of BDF weaponry, wishing all success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and President of the Economic Development Board, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, 
hails the integrated work in the implementation of the plans and strategies that led to the kingdom's success in attracting direct investments of over 400 million US dollars during the first half of 2019. He commended the efforts of the board and concerned authorities to achieve these results. He noted the importance of speeding up work to achieve further success on the economic level and reach the desired objectives of the kingdom to contribute to the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed the need to continue to enhance the business environment and create job opportunities for citizens by increasing coordination and cooperation between partners in the public and private sectors. He stressed the importance of preserving the kingdom's achievements. The chief executive of the EDB, Khalid al Mehe, presented the latest economic indicators monitoring the performance of the national economy. Real GDP recorded an increase of 2.7% in the first quarter of 2019, largely due to the performance of the financial services, oil and gas, and hotel and restaurant sectors. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and head of the Ministry's SME's Development Board, Zaid bin Rashid Zayani, highlighted the Board's successful realization of its key performance indicators by boosting exports and increasing the number of employees at SMEs. Under the patronage of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Olympic Day ceremony was held yesterday, organized by BOC. His Highness Sheikh Khalid was received by the President of Bahrain Basketball Association. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Ayman bin Tawfiq Lim Ayyad, and the Secretary General of BOC Mohammed Hassan al Nisraf, as well as a number of senior officials in the kingdom. On the occasion, His Highness affirmed that holding the ceremony stems from the keenness on involving the world to participate in the sports occasion, for its importance in spreading the principles and values of the Olympics and in promoting the importance and role of sports in people's lives. He added that the ceremony includes all categories of society, noting that such sports events contribute to highlighting individuals' energies and abilities. He asserted that efforts to provide a suitable environment for practicing various sports games will continue. The Board of Trustees of the ISA Award for Service to Humanity, chaired by His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Awards Board of Trustees, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, held a press conference at Kalaibiya Palace in the presence of the Deputy Prime Minister, the first Deputy President of the Board of Trustees of the ISA Award for Service to Humanity, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, a member of the Awards Board of Trustees, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. During the press conference, the awards Board of Trustees announced that the EDHI Foundation in Pakistan received the award, which was given following recommendations by the international jury, which selected the EDHI Foundation after shortlisting several qualifiers from different countries. 
The general secretariat of the award, in cooperation with the jury, conducted intensive field research covering the word sites of the foundation, reviewing methods of providing services, and verifying the records of achievements. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak delivered a speech on the occasion in which he recalled with appreciation the late Sheikh Isa bin Salman al Khalifa, whom the award was named after. He added that the awards board of trustees made efforts to find remarkable and out of the spotlight humanitarian work internationally to support their efforts. The Shura Council and the Representatives Council affirmed the Bahraini people's total rejection of the continuation of the practices of the Qatar regime and its intent to provoke and fuel sedition and the blatant interference in the internal affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The councils followed up on social media about the production of Al Jazeera through its program for a documentary film, Ghafiya Adam, aimed at stirring up strife in Bahraini society which proved in various circumstances and tribulations its cohesion in its various factions and components under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The councils affirmed their total rejection of Al Jazeera's blatant interference in the internal affairs of Bahrain, stressing that any attempts to tamper with the fabric of the Bahraini society by Al Jazeera will not only receive failure and rejection of the people of Bahrain, the two councils point out that Bahrain, since the launch of the reform project of His Majesty the King, the Qatar regime has failed to understand because Qatar has never witnessed serious political reform that preserves the rule of law as well as the separation of powers in Bahrain. They called upon Qatar to focus on finding solutions to their own internal problems. They also called upon the Qatar regime to stop supporting terrorism and its financing in the region and to return to the right path and to respond to the demands of the four countries led by Saudi Arabia. They said the continuing abhorrent approach of Qatar in pursuing policies of discord and misrepresentation is bad faith. It's embraced of people who do not want to do good for the people of Bahrain and other people of the Gulf. The two councils renewed their rejection of the continuation of the hostile media approach of Al Jazeera which implement the trends of the Qatari regime to stir strife among the Gulf peoples. They stress the solidarity and the strength of the bonds and relations between the Bahraini and Qatari people and reject all aspects of interfering with Qatari people and that the dispute is confined to the Qatari regime. The two councils stress that the governments of Bahrain and the people of Bahrain are always in solidarity to maintain national unity within the Bahraini society as well as the historically rooted Gulf unity. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al Aimi, received today principals of schools which received advanced results in the audit reports and follow up of the quality of education and training, where he honored 15 schools that obtained advanced results during the second semester of the academic year 2018 2019. The Minister expressed pride in the continuous progress and achievements of the educational process during the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. For their part, the principals expressed thanks to the Ministry for providing the support and potentials that contributed to achieving these results. The Minister also praised the efforts exerted by all schools to improve their performance in various areas of evaluating quality of education and training, and stressed the Ministry's interest in the external and local evaluation to enhance its developmental efforts. The implementation of the ban on work in the afternoon in outdoor areas will begin tomorrow between 12 p.m. until 4 p.m., which is overseen by the Ministry of Labor and Social Development. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, directed companies and institutions with work sites under direct sunlight to comply with the ban and to enhance the protection tools necessary to protect workers against summer diseases and workplace injuries. The decision, which continues until the end of August, aims to protect workers and ensure their safety from the risks of occupational heat stress, sunstrokes and various summer diseases, and to reduce occupational incidents during this year.
period of the year. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed al ramihi affirmed the methodology of the Qatari system to offend all that concerns Gulf and Arab countries is exposed and receives rejection and resentment from GCC members. The minister pointed out that a network of electronic accounts have been detected on social networking sites which are managed by Qatar and connected to the Qatari system's media which upload pictures, information and data of GCC leaders and symbols to disrupt Gulf and national unity, stir up sedition, threaten civil peace and social fabric, and destabilize security and stability in Bahrain and the GCC. He stressed that the Qatari regime has been pursuing a hostile policy for more than 20 years, relying on a group of mercenaries to implement its destructive agendas and targeting the pillars of the Gulf unity and the unifying system of the region's countries in flagrant violation of fraternal ties. The minister stressed that the people of the Gulf will continue to reject Qatari policies which seeks to destroy the GCC system. He affirmed that the leaders and symbols of the Gulf receive appreciation from GCC countries, adding that all these destructive attempts will not succeed. The minister urged social media users in the Gulf to be vigilant and to dismiss tenderness rumors that seek to achieve the objectives of the Qatari regime to destabilize security and stability in the region. The Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister announced the new batch of candidates for 2019-2020 FDPM Fellowship Program. The 15 members of the fifth batch of the First Deputy Program for the Development of National Caters of 15 people from different government agencies were selected after the participants were subjected to different stages of evaluation according to the criteria of the program. They are Ahmed Samit Tajer from the Ministry of Housing, Ahmed Saleh Mujeran from Timkeen, Ahmed Abdelaziz Bouassa Ali from the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Ala Abbas Adirazi from the Office of Financial and Administrative Control, Hassan Saeed Abdelal from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Dana Mohsin Shammasi from the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, Ra'ya Jalal Khala from the Ministry of Health, Safiya Mahmoud Janahi from Timkeen. Sophia Adil Deri from the Quality Authority for Education and Training, Ali Hassan Sharaf from Petroleum Development, Ali Khalid Al Arifi from the Ministry of Interior, Fatma Khalid Al Rahma from the Electricity and Water Authority, Fatun Abdul Rahman Al Amadi from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Faisal Isa Hamad from the University of Bahrain, Maryam Ahmed Haider from the Northern Governorate. Director General of the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Fahad bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, congratulated the members of the fifth batch who successfully met the criteria required to join the program, stressing that the program is supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Director General of the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister pointed out the participation of the Bahraini youth in the public sector in the program leads to further strengthening the relationship qualities and encouraging the promising leaders in the government sector. The participants will undergo a full year of mandate and then return to their positions in the government sector to develop their various skills that have been acquired to support development endeavors with all creativity and innovation.